My name is Robert Rosenson. I work uh, at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai, New York, New York, where I serve as the Director of Cardiometabolic Disorders. Today I spoke about HDL, myth or reality. There's been so much interest in HDL cholesterol with regards to its ability to predict risk. It's inversely related. The question is that causal pathway or is it due to the associated lipids and lipoproteins? Well, we know that people that have high HDL cholesterol levels have low LDL particle concentration is shown in many studies such as the Framingham Offspring Study and the MESA trial. And if you uh, factor in the LDL particle concentration, then the relationship between HDL cholesterol and risk dissipates. Of the HDL particles, the cholesterol load is not the most important factor. There are particles of different size that have different functions, and it's the small HDL particles that have a very rich proteome, a proteome that's involved in reducing inflammation, reducing oxidative stress, helping us fight off infection. The more you load up those particles with cholesterol, you may lose some of that protective effect. So again, focusing on the cholesterol cargo of the HDL particle is a misguided approach. Unfortunately, we have clinical trials that have exactly done what may not make sense. They load up the particles with cholesterol, like niacin, the cholesterol ester transfer protein uh, inhibitors, without increasing the number of HDL particles. And each and every time you do that, fail, it fails. In contrast, gemfibrozil in the VA HIT trial um, increased HDL cholesterol slightly, but had a greater effect on increasing the number of HDL particles. And the increase in HDL particles in gemfibrozil was the most important predictor of a lower cardiovascular event rate. Going further, further what are the um, hopes? Giving APOA1 memetics, expanding the pool of HDL, so you're going to retain the particles, the nascent HDL particles that interact with the interact with the ABCA1 transporter, as well as ones that contain this rich proteome that we know that helps uh, fight off some of the hazards of the atherosclerosis, atherosclerosis process, such as uh, oxidative stress inflammation. We have um, a paper appearing um, in circulation in September on HDL functionality. We're trying to help move the field forward, giving a new perspective on HDL biology and how to uh, translate those findings into future uh, pharmaceutical development.